Hey, what's up guys? Joe here. I want to welcome you back to another episode of The Couch Vlog. And today I've got some really exciting news I want to share with you. Um, I picked up something that I think is going to work out really great for my green screen setup. I just recently moved the green screen back downstairs. Um, I have a lot more room down there. I basically have the whole room for a studio. It's great. The only downside to it is, is that the lighting is terrible. Much like the lighting up here, the lighting up here is a lot better. But as you can see, well, you can't see they're out of frame, but I have lights set up next to me. I've got my studio lights next to me. And the ballast is out on the light fixture above my head. So that's why the, the lighting is, is terrible up here. But it's still better than it was downstairs. So anyway, I got this stuff because I'm planning on having permanent lights mounted in front of my green screen. And if it works out the way that I have it planned, it should be great. I won't have any lighting issues downstairs anymore and I won't have to move stuff you know, up and down the stairs every time I want to shoot a video either here in the on the couch or downstairs in front of the screen. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to show you what I bought, walk you through what I got, why I bought it, and how much it cost. So stay tuned for that and we'll see you back here in a minute. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. Um, so as you can see, this is what I just purchased. I've had my eye on these uh, particular light fixtures for a while now. I was a little hesitant to buy them at first because I wanted to uh, really put a lot of thought and research into what kind of light fixture I needed and what would suit my needs the best. And so uh, yesterday I made up my mind that's what I was going to do, so I went ahead and got them. And uh, I guess we'll know here in a little bit if it was worth the investment. If this works the way that I hope it does, it'll be great. I'll have a permanent uh, lighting set up in front of my green screen, out of the way of the cats that they can't mess with. Um, the lights that I have set up next to me are studio lights. They work great. They're not as bright as I hope these will be. However, um, I have to put them up when they're not in use because the cats can knock them over and bust the bulbs. So I either have to take out the bulbs and uh, you know put them away in a safe place because when you have animals, they tend to get into stuff. So anyway, these light fixtures made out of metal I have an eight and a half foot cord and uh, this handy clamp that you can attach it to anything you can fit around. It swivels, it's adjustable. Um, downstairs I have my rafters that are completely visible um, and I can easily clamp one of these lights onto the rafter. If you don't have um, rafters in your ceiling, which you probably don't, you could uh, mount a bookshelf or something uh, like a closet rack you can buy at the store, mount it above your green screen and clamp these to that. That would work just as well. Um, because I bought three, I only have one outlet down there with two plugs. Um, I bought one of these. This was just under six dollars and as you can see here it will uh, retain six uh, power cords on one outlet. Less than six dollars. These were less than seven dollars a piece then I went ahead and got a box of four 100 watt uh, bulbs which they're actually equivalent to 100 watts these are the uh, energy saving light bulbs they're actually 23 actual watts and uh, these were just under nine dollars I bought the 100 watt rather than the standard 60 watt because I want these to be a little bit brighter the ones that I have next to me in these studio lights are 60 watt. So I got these. Um, the the uh, this newer style light bulb doesn't get as hot as a traditional light bulb does either. And since these are metal, I didn't want to take a chance on getting burned um, if I had to touch the metal, you know, to adjust them or something after the light had been on for a while. I'm hoping that they don't get really hot. I'll let you guys know how that works out for me. I went ahead and got some uh, zip ties. I got some uh, larger ones and some smaller ones. This pack was $1.27. No, this pack was $0.87. Cents. This pack was $1.27. And then I got some duct tape. You guys probably won't need duct tape, but for my situation, my green screen is uh, nailed to the upper rafter and then it just hangs down loose. And to keep it straight without any creases or wrinkles in it, I have to duct tape it to the wall. Um, to keep it straight. So that's why I got duct tape, but you guys probably won't need this. All of this here was just under $40. All 
I'm um, assuming that your local hardware store or Walmart or big box department store would have all of these items in stock on a regular basis. If this works out for me, I'm going to let you know. I'll do a full review on it and let you know. But I'm pretty sure that this is going to be the cheapest lighting setup that you could possibly get for a green screen. The studio lights that I have now cost $50 plus shipping. So I think with this being cheaper, this is going to be a really great uh, setup. Alright guys, well that's all that I have for right now. Stay tuned. Please remember to subscribe and like the video. Thank you for watching another episode of The Couch Vlog and we'll see you later.